here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. This story would begin a month after the end of the Tournament of Power, in which Android 17 brought all the universes to life. All the gods were very grateful to Universe 7, except for two gods, which were the gods of Universe 4, Catella, and the god of Universe 11, Vermouth. Both gods were upset with Universe 7, especially with Son Goku, who to know that because of him, they were eliminated and were even more enraged when they were revived, since their universes were underestimated. The god of Universe 11 organizes a meeting with the god Katila of Universe 4, which Katila would accept after some time the god of Universe 4 would arrive to Universe 11. Vermouth. What is so important that even you have to ask to come to your universe? I can tell by the look on your face. You're upset with Universe 7, especially with the Saiyan named Goku. You're right, but what are you supposed to want? I'm furious with that miserable Saiyan. Because of him, we had to fight for our survival. And when he defeated us, he revived us as if we were inferior beings. But Vermouth can't do anything since that miserable Saiyan is the only friend of the king of everything. What if I tell you that there is an option to eliminate Son Goku with the help of Serial, the Angel Destroyer? Are you crazy enough to invoke Serial, the Angel Destroyer? We will make a blood pact that he will not be able to break. The only thing we need for this is the other gods to agree. I think your plan is excellent. The only thing I don't like is having to invoke the destroying angel. Great rewards require great sacrifices. So, are you with me or against me? I am with you, Vermouth. Let's end the tournament of that damn Saiyan. Both gods would leave for each of the universes, with the exception of the Universe 7, since both knew that Beerus was not going to betray his best warrior. After a month or so, all the gods were in agreement with the annihilation of Son Goku. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, on the planet of Beerus, Goku and Vegeta were training very hard. Both Saiyans had achieved an overwhelming power. That's right, the power had grown so much that they were even on par with the power of Beerus, the most powerful god of destruction. They have increased their power in an overwhelming way. Now they're able to face Lord Beerus at the maximum power. At least we're able to defeat a god of destruction. Of course not, Vegeta. They are at the maximum power of Lord Beerus, but if he uses the Ultra Instinct, he can easily defeat them. Can Beerus reach that state? That's right. Lord Beerus is one of the few gods that can access the Ultra Instinct. Even if he doesn't master it completely, that's enough to defeat both of them. I want to reach the Ultra Instinct again, but I can't. I want to be as powerful as an angel and even be able to face the High Priest. At that moment, Beerus would listen to what Son Goku said. That level is impossible for mortals like you. Angels are born in the divine world. For that reason, no matter how much you train, you'll always be below them. Mr. Beerus, don't say such things. We can all become more powerful. Wiss, since you're assigned as my guardian angel, I've never seen you use even 50% of all your power. While I have become very powerful, I'm not able to give you a blow. In a certain aspect, he is right, we angels. When we are born in the divine world, we are born with ultra instinct, and as we grow older and only perfect or evolve it. Goku and Vegeta would be surprised to know that all angels were born with great power. Mr. Wiss, then why does the High Priest Daishenken possess so much more power than you if you are angels anyway? That's an easy question to answer, Mr. Goku. What happens is that my father's level is so great because he has the fortune to train in a place specially built for the guardians of Zeno-sama. Can't angels like you train in that place? That's right, Goku-san. We can't train in that place unless we are candidates to take the position of the High Priest. That room must have a lot of training capability to give you a power as impressive as that Daishenken-sama. Of course, Mr. Vegeta, since the High Priest must prepare for any kind of situation that may occur with the King of Everything. That only leaves me with the hope of becoming much more powerful. We Saiyans have no limits, and I know that someday I'll be able to face Daishenkensama in hand-to-hand -hand combat. You're right, Kakarot. Our warrior race allows us to increase our power unbridled. 
The only thing we need is to train and have battles to the death. Both sands would continue training with much more enthusiasm than before, knowing that they could also become beings of great powers. Meanwhile, on 11 gods of destruction were gathered on an inhospitable planet of the 12 universes. Are we ready? All the gods nodded at the moment, Vermouth and Catella took a step forward. The other gods began to transmit their power since both gods needed an incredible power to be able to contact Serial, the angel destroyer. At the moment, they obtained enough power. The mind of both gods was teleported to another place to look at a beautiful angel in chains. Serial, is that you? It has been billions of years since anyone has called me by that name. Who are you? What are you doing in this place? We are the Destroyer Gods, and we're here in this place because we need your power. Do you not see the condition I'm in? Those miserable chains limit all my power. I can't do anything. And if we'd find a way to free you from this crimson purgatory, what would you tell us? I would do what you ask me to do, and then I would destroy everything in existence. We are willing to do the impossible so that your chains are broken, but you must do something for us. Tell me, what do you want? We want you to help exterminate a Saiyan. Are gods like you not able of annihilating a single being? I thought it was the king of everything or someone of great power. Simple mortar does not arouse my interest. I'm yeah, sorry to offend you, but that Saiyan you call mortal surpasses all the destroyer gods. Is the only being to reach the perfect Ultra Instinct. I see. So the Saiyan has awakened the Ultra Instinct. Oh, interesting. We know that you are the Destroyer Ranger. For that reason, we want you to make a blood pact with us, promising that you'll only finish with that Saiyan and you'll not do anything else in the 12 universes. Are you manipulating me? Do you think that you're in the position to manipulate me, the Angel of Death? Vermouth and Catella would get a little serious, because even Shane, the murderous intent that he was given off was impressive. Now at that moment in their mind, they heard Champa's voice. Vermouth, Catella, hurry up. Our energy reserves are about to run out. We won't be able to maintain this technique much longer. Vermouth would approach Serial, cutting a bit of his hand and dropping a few drops on the floor. Do you accept the blood deal or not? Serial would be of great fury and accept the blood deal. However, in his mind, this would be said. You simple gods don't know what destroyer you're playing with. The blood pack has several dots, and being an ancient angel, I know how to annul it. Last chance, or do you want to stay in this place for all eternity? Okay, I accept the blood deal. Both beings would take the deal. At that moment, the connection would be lost since the other gods had run out of energy. Were you able to contact Serial? Vermouth would give a smile. That's right. Now we must look for the Super Dragon Balls to be able to free him from those chains. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Underworld, there was Serial. Insignificant gods. Am I, the Angel of Death, going to bow down to you? You have only been in one piece of my game. Release me, as soon as possible. All the gods would gather the Super Dragon Balls quickly, achieving it quickly. After a moment, an incredible light would be throughout the universe of the Universe 6, since invoking the great god Zarma in Universe 6. You have gathered the Super Dragon Balls. Tell me, what is your wish? Catella would step forward. Great god Zarma, what we wish is that you release Serial, the destroying angel. The voice of the great god Zarma would change. That's right, even the mighty god Zarma would tremble with fear upon hearing that name. I cannot fulfill that wish. Since the power of that subject is as great as that of my creator. Then can you destroy the chains which you have no prisoner? That is impossible. The desires that you ask of me are beyond my capacity. But I will tell you something. If you wish to free Serial, it would be the end of everything that exists. You're wrong. Since we're able to reach an agreement with Serial, now tell us, how can we free him? To be able to free Serial, we must first reduce the flames of the Underworld, since the flames do not allow his power to flow. But how the hell can we extinguish the flames of Crimson Purgatory? You must find a being that masters the element of ice, but he must be a super warrior 
His eyes must be at the level of a king at all. Can you bring such a warrior? Of course not. Do not intend to get into trouble. But those beings live on the shores of the Twelve Universes. At that moment, the great god Zarma would disappear, returning the spread of the Super Dragon Balls by Universes 6 and 7. How do we do it? I guess this is as far as the mission to finish with that damn Saiyan. Of course not. Tomorrow, when they've recovered their energies, we'll go to the frontiers of the Twelve Universes. All the gods were a little thoughtful, but they would accept. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, the god Beerus was a little worried. Mr. Beerus, is something wrong? I don't know why, but I feel that something very bad's about to happen. Hey, it must be your imagination since the tournament ended. Everything's been calm. Sometimes I wish I had your hollow brain of yours that doesn't care about anything. After days passed, the gods went to the frontiers of the universe, and after hours of searching, they were able to find a being with a surprising power of ice. But to their surprise, it was a woman. The gods explained everything that happened. Of course I'll help you. A being like him should not exist. All would go to a specific point to be able to release Serial. At that time of reaching the center of the universe, the gods released their power by opening a portal to the underworld. At that time, Rina would concentrate a large part of her power of ice, launching it, achieving to extinguish a little of the flames of the underworld. But with that little, I would extinguish them. It was so capable that the powerful Serial was liberated. Since he couldn't concentrate a little of his power, an incredible explosion would be observed. Rays fall by all of the place. It seems that it'd be the end of everything existing. Serial at the moment of being released from the Crimson Underworld would generate an impressive explosion. However, before Caesar, a multiversal explosion, the same Serial would contain all his key. Managing to balance it at the moment that the smoke spread, we would observe a being which would seem an angelic being. It wouldn't seem to be a destroyer of universes as they had cataloged it. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, the deities of the universe that managed to perceive such an explosion. Whis, what has happened to the center of the universe? I have no idea, my lord, but it must not be anything good. Returning to Serial and the others, the pressure was felt in all the atmosphere, but Vermouth would gather his courage and pass in front of the other gods. Serial Sama, the angel destroyer of universes, we have brought him to life with the help of Reyna, a girl who possesses the power of ice at the level of a king. So, you have brought me to life. That's interesting. But more interesting is to know that I have in front of me a girl who dominates the icy power. I want that power. Serial would throw a great sphere of energy through his mouth. That's right. With his attack, he would pulverize Reyna. However, before Reyna perished, Serial would appear in this great attack, snatching a little of her spiritual base. All the gods were surprised. The moment we summoned you, we performed a blood birth, so you did not... Catella could not finish her sentences as Serial would complete it. I can't finish any of you. Ha ha ha. Simple knave gods. You don't possess enough power to contain my overwhelming power. I know the blood deals, and using one on me is useless. This can't be happening to us. We freed you. You can't do this to us. Don't worry, gods. I won't kill you. Of course I'll fulfill your request. I'll annihilate the son of G Gusan, who has surpassed the power of all the gods. Serial, without warning, would disappear from that place. Serial was moving throughout the universe at an impressive speed. His power was so much that even the dimensions were altered. Serial would arrive in minutes to the planet of the god destroyer Beerus, where he would feel the presence of Son Goku. At that moment that Serial appeared in the battlefield, all those present in that place felt like in that planet was an extremely powerful being that had arrived. Since his power would shake the entire planet, Serial would appear in front of everyone. Wiss would recognize him at that moment that he observed him fixedly. I can't believe it! You're Serial, the Angel Destroyer, but you had been sealed in the cribs of Purgatory! So your angel knows of my existence, but I've been released to the end of the life of this Saiyan. Serial would point his hand at Son Goku. What the hell do I do now? 
I know I haven't disrespected any powerful being that you want to annihilate me. It's my mission. The eleven gods of destruction released me to exterminate you, so I'll do my part. Serio, with an extremely impressive speed, would give strong blows to those present, including Wiss, who dominated the Ultra Instinct. Serial's power was so much that it even exceeded the power of an angel with ease. Well, apparently they're not as powerful as I thought. I wanted to have a little fun. Everyone would stand up increasing their power to the maximum. At that moment, everyone would launch an attack, but Serial would dodge each of their blows. Goku and Vegeta took a little distance and would launch a powerful combined attack. That damned. From that big attack, you can't get up anymore. But in the midst of all the smoke, a voice would resound. Do you think that any beings that are not in the same dimension of power as me can do anything to me? I'll not let you exterminate Son Goku. He's my best warrior, and I'll not let you off so easy. We'll have to go through my corpse if you want to. Beerus increased his power to the maximum and activated the Ultra Instinct. At that moment, everyone went back to the attack. But their attacks were in vain since they did not have enough power to face that powerful god. I have an idea. I'd be better to lock you in a dimension that has a gravity a hundred times higher than the gravity of these universes. So that you die of hunger or your body crushes you. You are a complete monster! At that moment, Serial gave several blows to all the warriors, taking Son Goku by the neck. I heard that your universe won the Tournament of Power. Now the gods you sacrificed yourself have betrayed you. What vermin they turned out to be. Goku would not say a single word because the pressure that Serio was using on his arm was impressive. That's right, Goku little by little was becoming unconscious until that moment, Goku would return to his base state being out of combat. The time has come. Now, I'll lock you in a dimension similar to mine but even more chilling. Serial would create a portal to a dimension which would be observed all white. At the moment, Serial would throw Son Goku into the dimension and before we could leave, Serial would throw him a great energy sphere. At that moment, the portal would close. My work is finished here. For the moment, I have no interest in assassinating you, so it'd be best if you just don't lose your lives in vain. The Saiyan Vegeta would stand up with the intention of attacking him again, but Beerus would grab him by the shoulder. No, Vegeta. We want to save Goku. We must stay alive. Neither Whis was a match for that guy, much less you and I'll be. Serial began to move away from the planet at a surprising speed, creating dimensions where he was passing because his speed was so fast that the same universe was affected. Serial would arrive with the other gods. I've exterminated the Saiyan named Goku. Now, you don't have to worry anymore. Serial was about to leave, however, Champa would ask a question. Serial Sama, do you intend to destroy all these universes? Of course not. I never do something like that. That's right, Serial at that moment was returning to the place where he had been liberated. He would say to himself, Why kill them? They could be my pawns. I need people in my new regime. Serial would leave, causing no havoc for the universes. Meanwhile, in the Universe 7 was Beerus already recovered, which was furious with the other gods. Those damned ones were capable of betraying the whole Universe 7. I won't forgive them. You are right, Beerus-sama, but the most important thing now is how we'll stop Serial. I never heard that name. Could you tell me who he is, and why did your face change when that guy appeared? Millions of years ago, there was a war of an impressive divine level. The kings of everything and the gods against the angels of death, Daishank and together with the destroyer gods were able to finish the most of them. When the divine world believed that they had already won the war, appeared in the last squadron which were called the destroying angels. All possessed a white and divine wings which made them look heavenly, but at one point ended the lives of the six supreme gods. So it is, Xenosama eliminated the six universes because they had been left without any god to dominate them. The destroying angels were much more powerful than the other beings that they had faced and were commanded by the Angel of Death Serial and his brother the Angel of Death Blaze. Both brothers, without the help of anyone else, were able to power in trouble even to the great Xenosama. It was said that the king of everything had never lost a battle but that day he knew defeat. 
However, the king of everything would use his form of combat and in a very close battle was able to defeat them. But the loss of the divine world was too much. Beerus would be very surprised by what Whis told and to know that only two subjects were able to face the king of everything, Xenosama. Whis, I don't care if we die trying, but I'm not going to leave Goku in that dimension. That's right, Mr. Beerus. I'm sure that Goku won't give up. With my staff, I will give him immortality. Whis would use his staff to grant him immortality despite being in another dimension. Whis's technique would work successfully. Meanwhile, in the dimension to which Goku had been sent, he would stand up at the moment he did while his wounds were healing quickly. That's right, Goku would be able to communicate with Whis telepathically at that moment. Mr. Whis, my body's acting strangely. It started to release steam and I'm fully healed. Don't worry, Goku, this effect is caused by me, so that you won't die of old age. I've decided to grant you immortality because the place where you are, time passes much faster. I understand, Mr. Whis, and thank you very much for taking care of me. Don't worry, Goku, but train, since we'll do everything possible to try to free you from this place. Of course I'll train, Mr. Whis, to take revenge on all those gods that we've revived so that I can have a second chance. The communication between the two would end, and at that moment, Goku began to train in an impressive way. The gravity was increased, and time passed faster, was the perfect place to increase their powers in an impressive way and an incredible speed. Goku, knowing that he possessed the power of immortality, would take one of the strictest trainings of his life, a painful one, since he knew that all his wounds were going to heal, and he'd obtain some powerful Zenkais. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Everything, a sling of dark colored energy would be in all that place. Daishenkin, when perceiving all this power, would leave, and at that moment of trying to neutralize the power, a message of Serial would leave of this sphere. I hope he finds you prepared for what we left millions of years ago. But if Serial is the destroying angel, how is this possible? It's supposed to be sealed in the Crimson Purgatory. Daishenkin would go to inform the great Xenosama of the new potential threat that all the universes were about to go through. Meanwhile, with all the other destroyer gods, Serial had spread a great part of his power in all the universes so that the gods that were in the resurgence would be loyal to him and do everything he commands. Gods, raise your power because soon we'll overthrow the one who calls himself king of all and I will be your new ruler. As you command, Serial Sama. All the gods in the same way began their training while Serial was recovering all his energies because after millions of years without releasing any of his power, the spiritual sea was in pieces. That's right, Serial began to repair all his spiritual sea, being able to repair it after some of them. At last, my power has returned, but I need my brother, but I don't know in which dimension the seal's located. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, everyone was still training to increase their powers in an incredible way just as Goku was training in the vacuum dimension, in which a few hundred years had already passed, Goku's power had become immense. Goku, with a serious look, would observe the whole place where he was. I'm looking forward to the day when I leave this place. I return the humiliation you did to me. You've awakened the worst being you could have ever imagined. Goku was training in a way never seen before. That's right, Goku wanted to get out of that room to defeat that guy who humiliated him in the worst way possible. Meanwhile, outside of the dimension, in the planet of Beerus, the Saiyan Vegeta was training in the same way to increase his power. But at that moment, Daishaken would appear in front of everyone. Father, has something bad happened? Not at the moment, but even the king of all Xenosama is nervous about male's resurgence. What can we do, Father? The only thing we can do now is to wait for Mel's power to reappear. Please keep me informed. Yes, of course, Father. Darshaken was about to leave, but at that moment, an amazing power would shake the 12 universes. This amazing power is from the great Xenosama. Apparently, he's fighting with Mel. Wissabirus would be very surprised to feel that incredible pressure in the whole environment. Darshaken would quickly leave to the kingdom of everything. Flashback. If I want to finish that damn bastard, I have to do it when the priest is not with him. Because if they attack me together, they will be a real problem. Mill was waiting for the perfect opportunity to attack the kingdom of everything, until one day, 
you could observe how Daishenken was going to Universe 7. This is my chance. I'll finish with that damn dwarf. Mail would open a portal, teleporting to the palace of the Kingdom of Everything. Mail, without letting Xenosama realize his presence, had directed a great blow with which be able to leave him out of combat or even end his life. But one of his guards was able to perceive Mail being able to stop his blow. At that moment, both guards stood in front of Xenosama. Xenosama, stay behind us! Xenosama was surprised to see Mail again. So after many millions of years, You've returned. Who was the bastard that brought you from the underworld? So you don't know, because your destroyer gods were the ones who summoned me since they asked me to end the life of the Saiyan Son Goku of Universe 7. You ended the life of my best friend? So, that mere mortal was your friend? The Guardians would start with their attack and at maximum speed, they managed to hit him a few times. But their blows were only a breeze of hot air for Mel, who had already recovered all his power. At that moment, Mel would dodge one of the blows of a guardian, and with great precision would give him a great blow that would leave him out of combat. Simple scum, you're no match for me. Mel began to give a beating to the other angel who could not do anything to defend himself. Mail again was going to knock out the other guardian, but the guardian could dodge it by a few millimeters and connect a great blow sending him flying and, without wasting any time, he would charge a great attack creating a big explosion and raising a smoke screen. At that moment, the Guardian would take his brother and at a supreme speed would go with Xenosama. Great Xenosama, we have no choice. Merge with us again to defeat Mail. That's what he's thinking. At that moment, Xenosama merged with his Guardians. For a few seconds, the true king of everything had appeared on the battlefield. That's right, Xenosama agreed to his form of combat. Now we'll put an end to this once and for all. That's what a true opponent seeks. The moment Mail and Xenosama clashed fists, some planets would disintegrate. And flashback. Daishaken would arrive at the realm of the whole, being able to witness such an overwhelming battle. I can't believe the power they're giving off. Xenosama has gone into battle mode. Meanwhile, in the Void Dimension, there was Goku whose power had grown in a surprisingly incredible way. One thing that wretch was right is that this room is terrifying. Its simple pressure would have ended my life if I didn't have immortality. Goku would continue with his great training, which consisted in dominating all his internal energy. That's right, Goku's power was increasing in a way never seen before, since his body was adapting to all that pressure. But something much more incredible was that his body was creating another energy path, making his key reserves much more gigantic. Son Goku's power had reached a new level, achieving a state similar to the Ultra Instinct, but his power was hundreds of times more powerful. Returning to the battle, Xenosama and Mel were very even. However, at a critical point, Mel would stop one of his blows. You've already bored me, Xenosama. Did you think all this was all my power? I wouldn't make the same mistake twice. With that power, you defeated me, so I took it upon myself to overcome your power. Mal at that moment would create a giant sphere of energy which looked like a sun in his hands, throwing it at Xenosama, who would try to stop it, but it would be useless, since the condensed power was incredible. Xenosama would stand up, but his power had decayed in an impressive way. You're a monster. We shouldn't have sealed you. We should have finished you and your miserable brother. Mel at that moment, annoyed, would throw himself against Xenosama. Divine machine gun! Mel would give him a rain of blows that seemed like bullets since Xenosama was not able to observe anything. No, 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 the king of everything has no chance of winning. Mel's power has grown in an overwhelming way. Daishaken would launch himself to attack, but Mel, with just stretching his hand, would cause the pressure to fall on Daishaken's body, making him fall to the ground and unable to move. You damned angels, no match for me, and you will be tortured, especially by me, since your damn technique was the one that sealed my brother. I'll torture you until you confess to me what dimension he's in. 
Mel at that moment would take Xenosama by the neck, making a great pressure until leaving him out of combat. It turned out to be nothing more than simple worms. Mel would take Daishenken and would rise to the top of the palace of the Kingdom of Everything. At that moment, he would throw a large sphere of energy, which was intended to end the life of Xenosama. For the energy sphere to be a few meters from hitting, a new warrior would appear on the battlefield, being so powerful that it could disintegrate the attack. Who the hell are you? How could you stop my attack? We're the fusion of all the divine beings, and we'll not allow you to destroy the great Xenosama. Kirash, with the supreme speed, would be able to hit him with the first blow that would make him bleed. Miserable. That hit her me. I swear I'll exterminate you. Kirash and Xenosama began to exchange blows at an incredibly expressive speed, causing many more planets to be destroyed by the collision of their fists. However, as the battle progressed, Mel was taking the advantage little by little, starting to give him a few good blows, making him fall to the ground badly wounded. This can't be happening. They've all merged to finish with this wretch. No matter how many ants unite, they'll never be able to kill a dinosaur like me. Mel would use a little more power in his punches, making Kirosh very badly hurt. Meanwhile, in the dimension, Goku was meditating until one moment to another, Goku was able to resonate with Vegeta's mind. Vegeta, can you hear me? Kakarot, is that you? That's right, Vegeta. I have a very bad feeling. Tell me, what's going on? Vegeta would comment everything that happened to Goku, including the powerful key that was overflowing all over the 12 universes. I understand, Vegeta. Please, keep me informed. Goku would continue meditating for a few more moments until, from one moment to another, his body and mind resonated again. But this time, it was not Vegeta. That's right, his mind had made a connection with an ancient beast. Who is this being that has interrupted my eternal sleep? I'm sorry, it wasn't my intention. That's strange. I cannot feel this person's presence, but he has an incredible power. Did you say something? Resonate with your power. If you're worthy, you could be my bearer. Goku would not understand what that voice said, but he would. That's right. Goku would begin to increase his power in the dimension, making the whole dimension tremble. However, at that moment, the beast would feel an overwhelming power. That's right, the power that Son Goku emanated was amazing, and the beast was able to feel it when he was in resonance. From this moment on, you are my bearer. No matter where you are, this infinite universe, I will seek you out and join you. I don't want you to be my beast, but could you help me in any way? Tell me, master. Just call me Goku. I don't know if you can feel the divine key, but please, my friends in the high press are about to die in the hands of an angel. Uh, please help them. Don't worry, master. I will go to the battle site right now. The beast would stand up and its form was incredible, since it belonged to an Ozaru ancestor. Its whole body was completely that of an Ozaru. The only thing that differentiated it was its peculiar purple glow. The beast, in spite of all of its great size, began to move at an incredible speed, even surpassing the speed of the angels. At the moment that beast would arrive, it was able to observe a being on top of everything, and other subjects which were on the ground very badly wounded. As I told you before, no matter how much power you possess, you'll never be able to defeat me. Mel would throw a slingshot of energy again, but he would tremble when he heard a loud roar, which had made his attack disintegrate. What was that? Is there a beast in this place? A great tremor would be felt throughout the whole kingdom as Uzaru fell without warning. Everyone was surprised, not knowing what the beast was. Damn, that thing will kill us all. <laughs> Damn beast. You must not have the ability to reason, so it'll be easy to kill you. Mel would throw a great sphere of energy at it, but he would be surprised when he realized the beast would be able to hold it with just one of his hands and make it disappear. I am the purple Zoro beast. My bearer, Son Goku, has sent me to protect this place. So go away, if you do not want to die. Daishenka would be shocked to know that Son Goku was still alive. That damn saying that I locked up in that dimension must have died already. So don't try to fool me. I don't care, please me. The only thing I have to do is protect this whole place. 
Let's see if you can do it. From your size, I deduce that you must be very slow. Mail would launch an attack, which the Zoro did not dodge since they were not able to make any scratch on its hard skin. Is that all? You do not have to be a disappointment. The beast, in spite of having a great size, would move at a speed that none of the beings in that place was able to observe. If it was only one of its blows, it would send him to fly through the universe, and before he recovered, it would throw him a sphere of energy, which had left him very wounded, but without the risk of losing his life. The beast would disappear, but at that moment, a great explosion would illuminate everything, since the power executed was so amazing that not even the 12 universes could resist it. The explosion had been so violent that it would even disintegrate a few more planets. Meanwhile, in the dimension where Goku was, a voice would resound throughout that place. Master, I have accomplished my mission. I have left that guy badly wounded and I have saved all the other people you ordered me to save. Thank you so much, but I didn't order you to do it. I just asked for a favor from you. Master, I am here to serve you. Goku at that moment would begin to meditate, thinking of a new way to increase his powers. Master, just like you, a part of me comes from the Saiyan race. According to my knowledge, if you acquire your tail again, you'll be able to obtain an incredible power. Are you serious? That's right, my master. Goku, without thinking so much, would begin with the training to make his tail come back again. Meanwhile, outside the dimension of emptiness, in the palace of Zeno-sama, were all very confused by everything that had happened. What had happened? I don't know, my lord. But a beast saved our lives. I want you to inform all the gods to be on high alert because mail has returned. On that subject, my lord, what happens is that the gods were the ones who brought mail from the underworld. What did you tell me, Dai Shinken? Why did they do that stupid thing? Out of the fear of Son Goku, since they summoned him to assassinate Son Goku. I won't forgive them for this because of them. My friend is dead. I don't believe him, my lord, because the beast called Lord Goku Master. This is really unbelievable. Meanwhile, far away from that place was Mel, who was shocked because he was completely defeated and was not able to do anything. Damn beast, I swear I'll find you and exterminate you. A damn saying, how the hell is he alive? Mel would continue resting with the purpose of recovering all his energies. Until from one moment to the other, Mail would come up with an idea. I know, I must gather the Destroyer Angels again, especially my brother Blaze. Mail would begin with his evil plan. That's right, Mail would begin to search of all the Super Dragon Balls. At the time he would gather them, he would realize that all of them were made of stones because it had not been a year since its last use. Mel quickly went to the Universe 10 in search of the Ring of Time. Getting it successfully, Mel would travel a year into the future. At the time he arrived, the Super Dragon Balls were already activated. Great God Zarma appears and fulfills my desire. The Great God Zarma would make his appearance and when he appeared, he would quickly recognize Mel. Mel the Destroyer Angel, tell me what I can do for you. I wish for you to revive my fellow angels who fell in battle. I'm so sorry, but that power surpasses my power. I cannot bring to life someone whose power surpasses that of my creator. Don't worry about it. Mel at that moment would create a giant sphere of power. That's right, Mel had transferred 90% of all his power. That should be enough. Now I want you to bring my fallen comrades back to life. Zarma with all that power would manage to bring most of them back to life. However, Blaze was not in that group. Mel with the little power he had left would be enraged. Where the hell is my brother? At that moment, one of the angels that had been resurrected would approach Mel. Mel, don't you remember that Blaze was sealed by the high priest technique? Oh, I'd completely forgotten. I regret it, great dragon god Zarma. Zarma would leave that place. 
At that moment, Mel, together with all the other angels, would return to their original time. My brothers of war, I have revived you because I need your help. A beast had been able to defeat me. It almost defeated the king of everything and his guardian, Daishaken. So, you were able to take down those two bastards on their own. But a beast got in your way, of course, we will help you, Mel. At that moment, all the angels would agree to overthrow the king of all, Xenosum and Daishaken, to create a new divine order. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, Kirosh had returned and managed to successfully emerge. At that time, Vegeta would arrive with all the other gods, which at the time of the emerge would be viewed with hatred by Beerus as well as Wiss. All the gods had agreed to join because if the king of all, Xenosum, falls in battle, all would do it. Now, get the hell out of my planet. I don't want to see you because you were able to cause all this trouble. All the gods would leave to their respectful universes. At that moment, Vegeta would ask what happened and Whis would tell him everything that had happened. Vegeta would be a little surprised, but without wasting time, he would talk about the communication he had with Kakarot. What did Goku say? The only thing I was able to tell me was that he would go look for a way to get out of that place and then he would beat up Mel. I don't doubt Mr. Goku is able to get out of that dimension, since his power must have increased unrealistically. Meanwhile, returning to the dimension, Goku had succeeded. That's right, Goku was in the transition from Uzaru to Super Saiyan Phase 4. The power that Goku gave off was unreal, being able to shake several dimensions for all his power. This power is incredible! I can't believe the power I have now! If you combine your power with my essence, you'll be unstoppable. Thank you, my good friend, but I'll give you a name. You will be called Zaiku. I've never had a name before. I like Zaiku. Thank you, Master. Now, it's time to get out of this place to get revenge on those bastards and combine with you. At that moment, Goku in Super Saiyan Phase 4 began to increase his power on a large scale. That's right, Goku's power was rising so much that even portals and cracks in all that place would have. At the moment, one of the cracks would release a subject very similar to male. Goku would realize the new subject stopped raising his power. Who are you? How did you get here? I don't know. I had the same doubt that you have. But the only thing I know is that I'll finally be able to get out of this place. You're able to open the dimensional rifts, you get me out of here. Goku would become much more serious than before. And what would happen if I refuse? Of course, I'd end your life once and for all. No matter how much power you possess, you'll never be a match for Blaze, the supreme destroying angel. Did you just say destroying angel? The only one I knew like that was that wretched male. Oh, so you've met my brother. Let me inform you that if my brother defeated you, you have no chance against me because I'm much more powerful than him. Of course, he was more powerful than me. Now I could defeat him single-handedly. <laughs> Not even the king of everything's powerful enough to beat my brother single-handedly. You're bluffing, Saiyan. Goku with a confident smile would go back to watching him. If you're so sure of that, why don't you try to attack me? Blaze would launch himself at a high speed against Goku, but the moment he was a few inches away from hitting him, he would quickly back up. Wow, I can tell you have good reflexes. I was just going to attack you. What the hell's going on? Body warns me not to fight this pain. Blaze, without caring about what his body was warning him, he would launch himself with a much larger speed than before. But it was useless because Goku didn't even dodge his blows. He received them all from the front, just to show how superior he was, Blaze would launch an attack from his mouth in front of Goku, which would cause a big explosion. What did you think of that attack? That's what you get for underestimating me. That was nothing. The only thing you did was dirty my clothes. Blaze would be shaking with fear when he realized that his power wasn't enough to make a scratch on him. I think it'll be an excellent revenge. If when I get out of here, I'll leave with your head. Goku began to torture Blaze, who in spite of surpassing the power of a king, couldn't do anything against Goku. Meanwhile, outside the dimension, Mail had already recovered a great part of his powers. 
That's right, his power had returned again and he felt confident to win this time with the other angels. It doesn't matter how strong that damn beast is. If we attack him together, he won't be able to do anything. But Merosama, wouldn't it be better to wait also for your brother to be 100% sure of victory? You're right, Ketera. So let's continue with our meditation. We must increase the resistance for our spiritual sea. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, Vegeta was very thoughtful. However, without giving it so much importance, Vegeta would begin to train the style of a god of destruction. To spend a few days in a special room for the training of god destroyers, Vegeta managed to reach the Ultra Ego. At the time of Vegeta out, would leave surprised Whis and Beerus, who would not believe the power that the Prince of the Saiyans had obtained. Vegeta-sama, is it really you? Mr. Vegeta, the power you reached is incredible. I can even feel the essence of a god in you. Of course it's me, Beerus-sama, and Whis. You're not wrong. I've reached a similar state to that of Lord Beerus. Now I'll demonstrate it for you. Vegeta would begin raising his power, making everything around him tremble, even the entire Universe 7. In a few moments, Vegeta's hair would change to a purple color and his aura would destroy everything around him. That's right, Vegeta had achieved the mode of a god of destruction. That moment of war would make the entire Universe 7 feel that bestial power. Vegeta's power is impressive. I can't believe it. And this is not all my power. Wissa Beerus would be surprised again. Meanwhile, in a faraway place, all the Destroyer Angels had felt that great power. Osama, the power that appeared a few moments ago is an amazing power. You're right, Kedera, and I'm sure that it belongs to the Saiyan that was on the planet of that god. Returning to the dimension, we could observe a blaze lying completely on the ground, unable to move. You came to my dimension thinking I'd be an easy subject, but thanks. With your death, I know that I would make your brother suffer in an incredible way. Goku at that moment would create the Dragon Punch. That's right, the dragon would come out of Goku's fist, surrounding the whole dimension at the moment of impact, it would reduce him to atoms. Apparently I overdid it a little. I didn't leave any dust of that damn thing, but I could still describe it to you. With that, you'll believe me. Master, the time's come. You must use a great deal of your power. I know, Zeku. The moment has finally arrived. Goku would begin to raise his power, making all that dimension shake. His power was so much that multiple temporal cracks were created. However, Goku at the moment of feeling the power of Xenosama would enter that temporal crack. At the moment that Goku entered, all the universe to which he had arrived would create a gigantic explosion that would make the 12 universes tremble because of all the power that had been released. Goku, at the moment of increasing all his power, was able to come out of that dimension, creating a gigantic explosion. Which was felt by the 12 universes and even the Destroyer Angel male, along with the other Destroyer Angels, felt such a fearsome power. At that moment, the explosion ended, you could see a Goku in his Super Saiyan 4 phase. So after so long, I've come out. I can feel the power of that wretch, all along with the group of other beings of great power. Master, it's time. Right now, I'll join you. All right, Zeku, let's form a single being. Zeku would say to himself, Master Goku doesn't know that with this, we will only create another path of energy. And at the moment of storing it, its power will be gigantic. See your forbidden power of Zeku, fourth form, energy increase. Millions of energy spheres would be observed by the 12 universes. That's right, all the power that Zeku had hidden was scattered by the 12 universes. At that moment, all those immense energy spheres were training Goku's body, which was being filled with an amazing power. That's right, his body seemed to explode with so much energy. 
can't stand all this energy. I feel like it's going to make me explode. Of course not, Master. Now you have me. I'll give my life for you if I have to. Divine crack. Celestial space. Goku's body was able to master all the power he possessed, but the remaining power was sent to a dimension that only Zeku had access to. When you increase your stamina much more, you'll be able to master all my power. Damn it! If only I was stronger, I could withstand your power! You must not worry, since even I know that my power is not easy to control, and you've managed to control a large part of it. Thank you, my friend, but the power I have is incredible! I feel that my whole body is full of energy! Meanwhile, all the gods, angels including the most powerful beings, were a little scared because all of them were able to observe an immense beast. It was Zaiku, the legendary purple Ozaru. Great Xenosama, he was the beast that saved us from male. I have no idea what it is, but I just feel a presence that crushes all us. Even all the destroyer angels together would be no match for that thing. Great Xenosama, is it a new ally or enemy? I don't know, Daishanken, but we must be sure if that guy is for us, because if he's our enemy, we don't stand a chance. Meanwhile, in a faraway place, all the destroyer angels were a little nervous because they felt how all that power surpassed them all together. Man, what the hell happened in all this time? How is it possible that a power like this exists? I just recently woke up. I don't know whose overwhelming power it is either. Returning to Goku, all his fur had changed color to a purple one. That's right, Goku had taken the same color of Zaiku. His power had grown in an amazing way. So much that even the most powerful beings of the 12 universes feared his power. Returning to the planet of Beerus, everyone would still tremble in the same way to feel that bestial power. Whis, who is that being that gives off so much power? I can't believe it. I have no idea, Mr. Beerus, but the only thing I know is that his power even surpasses that of the Destroyer Angels. I can't believe what you're saying, Wiss. How did such a being exist? We never knew about it. I don't know, Mr. Vegeta. We have never felt a key of that magnitude. This can't be happening. Now, we not only have to deal with the destroying angels, but we also have this new being. But at that moment, an extremely powerful presence would appear behind Beerus. That's right, so much I was his power that even Wiss was not able to move. What the hell is this? I'm not able to move a single finger. I don't know who the mighty god is, but we haven't disrespected him. A loud laugh would ring through the entire planet of Beerus. <laughs> what a laugh, Mr. Wiz. Of course I'd never do anything, because thanks to you, I could survive in that dimension. Goku would diminish all his overwhelming power. That's right, Goku was the owner of that incredible power. At that moment, everyone was able to move. The most surprised would be Vegeta. Gagarot? Is that you? How did you get all that power? I went through many difficulties, but what motivated me was to know that with this power, I'll be able to take revenge on that bastard. Goku, Goku, I can't believe that power you have achieved now. You have a power that even the king of everything would get on his knees. Of course not, Beerus-sama. This power is specifically for that cursed one and all the other gods that betrayed me. Sir Goku, are you planning to end the lives of the remaining 11 gods? That's right, Wiss. Since we revived them and they pay us back in this way, I'll tear them to pieces. I'll leave no trace of them behind. Meanwhile, in Universe 11, the god Vermouth had felt the presence of Goku. Vermouth was not able to feel his ki, but he had an incredible perception, remembering a little of Goku's presence. Is that powerful that saying? Oh, no, 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 this can't be happening. That incredible power of his makes power, it was the power of him. Vermouth was heading quickly to Universe 4 in search of Kitalia. Vermouth and Margarita would arrive quickly. Kitalia, come out immediately. We're in danger of all the destroyer gods. Kitalia would appear in front of Vermouth. What's wrong with you, Vermouth? Just a little while ago you felt that incredible power. And now you're here? <laughs> you better get out. This is not the best moment. Vermouth would deliver a powerful blow to Kitalia, which would make him fall to the ground, creating a big crater. You don't understand, Kitalia. 
I'm here because of that same power. Because that essence is the power of Goku. The being we thought was dead. From us. And this can't be. The destroying angel male personally took care of it. Kitalia, I'm sure that power was his. Kitalia and Vermouth was able to communicate with male telepathically. Angel destroyer male. Excuse me. Did you assassinate the Saiyan son Goku? No. I just locked him in a room so that his death would be slower and more painful. At this instant, he must have already died. Why? Is something happening? At that moment, the communication would be cut off as Kennelly and Vermouth lost their concentration. Then I was right. That incredible power is from that damn Saiyan. I can't believe how high his power has reached. He'll kill us with a single blow. We must not lose hope. We can use the fusion again and bring Kirosh to face that miserable Saiyan. What do you think the other gods will accept this idea? They must be just as terrified as us. Vermouth, calm down. It was not only our mistake since the other gods also participated in locking up Son Goku, so it's everyone's problem. After a few moments, Vermouth and Kinalia had organized a meeting with all the other gods, to which all attended except Beerus. At that moment, Kinalia began to explain everything that had happened, as expected, all the gods panicked, knowing that they had to face that power that had appeared recently. It's better to make the fusion as Vermouth and Kinalia said, because if we don't do it, that saying will finish us one by one, and we'll be easy prey. None of the destroyer gods agreed with the decision of the three gods, but they'd accept since, together, they had a much better chance of survival. But if we face him with the power that we have now, he'll exterminate us. It'll be better to train in a special room. The eleven angels used a great part of their powers, would be able to form a dimension which would seem to connect with the underworld itself. That's right, the power of it was so much that even for an angel, it was difficult to move. This is the perfect place to train. When we master all our powers, it'll be time to put an end to it. The eleven gods along with their angels would enter this dimension. At that moment, a great door would open and a blinding light would make them disappear. That's right, everyone had left the dimension. Meanwhile, with Goku and the others, Goku would return to planet Earth, observing all his healthy family. Dad, what is this transformation? you become very powerful. It's Super Saiyan 4. And you too, Goten. You've become very strong. Goku, I don't want to bother you, but the Xeno-sama has asked all the gods to be attentive to the power before. It'll be better to go as soon as possible, so we don't worry. You're right, beer sama but I'll not leave Universe 7 unprotected. Goku would stretch out one of his hands, creating a barrier so powerful that not even Xenosama himself would be able to destroy it. Sir Goku has wasted a great deal of energy on that barrier. Don't waste it, Whis. My family is worth everything. Goku would use teleportation, arriving at Xenosama's palace in a few seconds, together with Whis and Beerus. At that moment, the greatest priest would arrive them, and being surprised to be able to feel his incredible pressure. Are you Mr. Goku? That's right, High Priest. My power has increased a little, but I'm still the same. Father, we have come all this way here because the incredible power that was felt a short while ago belonged to Lord Goku. Daishenken would be shocked to know that all that bestial power belonged to a Saiyan. Is it true what Whis is telling me, Lord Goku? That's right, Great Priest. The moment I came out of that dimension, I could have contained my key and caused all that damage. Flashback? Thank you for all this power that you've given me, Zaiku. You shouldn't thank me. This power is to protect you and your family. But you better not say anything about my existence inside you. Why shouldn't I say about your existence? The multiverse beings are very ambitious if they know that there's a great power inside you. They'll be able to kill you to keep my power for themselves. Or so that you won't be a threat in the future. I understand, Zaiku. I won't say anything about you. And flashback. I understand, Sir Goku. Then there's nothing to worry about. On the destroying angels who are now about to destroy us. Don't worry, those angels don't have enough power to defeat me now. At that moment, Xenosama would come out of his palace together with his guardians. Goku would be too excited to watch him. Zenchan! <laughs> Long time no see! 
How did it happen? Zenosama, upon recognizing that voice, would rush to Goku, hugging him. The Guardians would be surprised. Goku would explain everything to Zenosama. After a while, Goku would feel the key of the Destroyer Angels. It's time to put an end to all this. Now I'll finish with those wretches. Goku used teleportation and left quickly. Father, can Mr. Goku fight them all by himself? Oh, I'm sure he will, Whis. His power has risen unrealistically high, and he's capable of facing any being he wishes. Goku would throw Blaze's head to the ground, which everyone would recognize. Mel would be filled with anger and would recognize Goku. Damn you! What have you done with my brother? I swear I'll kill you! I exterminate him! Like the trash he was, and I hope you have the power to face me. Goku would increase a great part of his power by observing a great golden explosion at the top. At the moment that Goku denoted a great golden explosion of your body, the Archangels had come out against Goku, who without any compassion, would finish with the life of all in one move, only leaving their bones, because the energy that he possessed tore them from the inside. Male, or better known as the Angel Destroyer, on the day you come to pay for all that you've done to me, but first, I'll torture you the worst way possible. You should have finished me first, since being the Supreme Angel of Destruction, I have the ability to absorb the power of my fallen companions. At that moment, a dark power stained with blood would begin to enter Mail's body. That's how the, his body was filling with an incredible power, which made everything around him begin to tremble. That's right, it was so much power that even the other universes were involved in a total chaos. Apparently, the final battle has begun. Son Goku against Mail the most powerful angel destroyer of all times. Goku will be able to defeat Mail, I'm sure of it. At that moment, a great explosion would be observed throughout the universes, and at the moment, hundreds of clashes of fists could be observed. That's right, the power that both possess seemed to be equal. Divine Destroyer! A great dragon of celestial fire would head towards Goku, who would not be left behind. Dragon of Death! A great dark dragon would collide with Mail's attack, but when both attacks collided, Goku's dragon would be able to finish with Mail's dragon, and in the same way, thousands of rays would be launched against him. Mail, at an incredible speed, would move on all sides, being able to dodge, but one was able to penetrate his stomach, making him spit out large amounts of blood. Damn, that hurt me too much. I won't you let you a simple monkey finish me off. Mail once again launched himself against Goku, who this time would increase his power level even more, being able to start repelling each of Mail's blows. Divine Machine Gun! Goku would increase his speed a thousand times, beginning to massacre Mail's entire body, who would vomit large amounts of blood with each exchange of blows. You're nothing compared to me. No matter how much power you have absorbed, today I will end your pathetic life. If I die, I'll not die alone. I'll die with you. I'll not die alone. I'll take you to the next world, even if I have to sacrifice myself. That would be very dignified of you, but I hope you increase your power even more. Mel would begin to release much more power than his body was able to withstand. That's why right, Mel's body seemed to explode with so much power. After a few minutes, a big explosion would be generated all over the place. And from the smoke screen, you could see a completely different male. That's right, his appearance had changed. He had mutated. Because of your miserable fault, I have lost the divine appearance that I had. Even my body hurts a lot. But with this power, I'll be able to finish you cursed. Mail at that moment, at an incredible speed, was able to give a blow to Goku, which by the power of the blow had sent him to fly to a planet, destroying it completely. But his attack had not ended there, because at that moment, thousands of energy spheres were directed towards Goku, which would be completely caught in all the explosions. What did you think of that, dirty mortal? Daishenken would be surprised, along with Beerus and Whis, to observe how Goku had fallen so easily. This can't be happening. If Son Goku was defeated, nothing and no one will be able to defeat that monster. Goku at that instant, at a speed greater than that of Mail, began to hit Mail, but to his surprise, Mail was able to respond to each of his blows. Master, 
The Agbai's power is incredible. You shouldn't have allowed him to access his maximum power. This will be very dangerous. I know, Zaiku, but we can't do anything now. I'll be able to defeat him quickly. Goku, despite taking the battle much more seriously this time, he was not able to knock Mail out easily, since his power had grown incredibly. With each exchange of blows, thousands of planets were destroyed. Damn it! I hate the destruction of planets! Because of me, innocent lives are being lost! At that moment, Daishaku would communicate mentally with Son Goku. Mr. Goku, don't worry about the annihilation of planets, because if Mail is able to defeat him, everything built by Xenosama will be destroyed. But if you win, we'll rebuild it with his Super Dragon Balls. Understood, Daishaku-sama. I'll finish Mail off this instant. Goku, in spite of the destruction of planets, will release much more power, causing havoc in the nearest planet. Goku, at that moment, threw himself against Mail, but a great blow had sent him to fly. That's right, Kirosh, the fusion of all the gods and angels, had appeared in front of Goku. Are you Mail, the Angel Destroyer? I know I have a different appearance, but the power of this Saiyan's incredible. Don't worry, between the two of us we'll be able to defeat him without any difficulty. At that moment, Kirosh and Mail launched themselves against Goku, who in spite of being very powerful was not able to do anything against both beings, who had increased their power in an amazing way. That's right, even all the gods had been able to take their power to the limit. Flashback. We have increased our power to an amazing way, but there's still one more thing we can do. What do you mean? We have been able to decipher forbidden technique from this room. Forbidden technique? What kind of technique? With the power of 25% of our life, our power will be multiplied a hundred times more. With that power and with the fusion of all the gods, we'll be able to kill Son Goku. I join the life of a god of destruction is very extensive. 25% will not be a big difference, and if we have problems, we can use the Super Dragon Balls. At that moment, all the gods accepted Kaitala's proposal, so they decided to give 25% of their life. At the moment, an incredible power would fall all over the place. In the same way, a surprising pressure would be felt, as their power would be multiplying a hundred times more. At the moment of coupling to such great power, in the same way, a pentagram would be formed, bringing to life Kirosh, the god of death. This power is incredible. I'll be able to defeat the useless Son Goku with just one of my fingers. I'll even finish with the Angel Male Destroyer. And flashback. That's right, both were fighting against Goku, who at this time would fall to the ground badly wounded and on the verge of death. However, the hidden power of Zaiku was combining with the original power of Goku. Instantly, a large sphere of energy was heading towards Goku. Damn, Kirosh and Male will be able to defeat Goku. Damn. We have to go to the minor universes until we're able to regroup and finish with both negative energy beings. But at that moment, a beast would once again be observed by all the universes, and with his great hand, he would make disappear the great joint attack of both beings. Now it'll be your turn to face me, master. Lend me your body. Zaiku at that moment would take total control of the body, with which would increase the power of Goku to a scale never seen before. Even I feel so much that the pressure that had fallen on the universes would fall incredible. Even the megaversal divertations were incredible, since everything revolved around it. With this body and my power, you're simple children. You're not able to do anything against me. I hope you're prepared for your death. Goku, and in that instant, with a gigantic explosion, would begin to massacre them both with blows, which in this occasion, with each blow, they felt their death. That's right, when Zaiku controlled Goku's body, his power was multiplied a thousand times more. Atomic Devastator! An incredible attack had reached Mail, who, in spite of having a great power, was being reduced to ashes until there was nothing left of him. With that attack, his soul will not be part of another world, nor of this one. His essence has disappeared completely. How have you been able to end the life of that Supreme Destroyer Angel? You're a damn monster. That's right, this time Kirosh's whole body would begin to tremble as he was not able to understand the incredible mass of energy that was in front of him. Kirosh would begin to move around the universe with the intention of fleeing, but he would not be able to because at that moment, Goku would stand in front of Kirosh. I thought you'd finish me off. Did you have the power to do it? Kirosh's heart was beating rapidly due to the fear he had, but he had not been able to do anything because at that precise moment, Goku made him vomit too much blood with a great blow, 
with which the power he possessed was totally out of control. What's wrong with my body? How are you able to do this to me with just one of your punches? It was no ordinary punch. I used a great deal of my beast power in my punch. The beast power is even more powerful than the destructive energy of the gods. Son Goku's hidden power is unbelievable. I'm not able to comprehend it. You are not able to do anything against me. It'll be better to finish you right now. Goku would instantly charge a great dragon attack, heading towards Kirosh at a great speed. Die damned angelic dragon god attack. An incredible white dragon would be materialized against Kirosh, which despite having a great power, was not able to do anything against him. Being completely disintegrated, at that time, Goku likewise would fall to the ground, vomiting large amounts of blood. The master's body is not accustomed to my power. For that reason, his body wears out in an incredible way. Goku would become unconscious, returning even to his base state. At the moment, Daishaken would appear, taking him up in arms and returning quickly to the realm of the whole. After a few days, Goku would wake up, but his eternal energy was in pieces. That's right, when Zaiku used Goku's body, he had left his energy veins with great damage, which would recover completely in about two months. Zaiku, your power is incredible. It hurts a lot. I thought I had the power and strength to withstand all your power. <laughs> Master, you're the only being in this multiverse being able to dominate all the power he possesses in this way. And that makes you the most resilient king of being all known. And despite my incredible endurance, I wasn't able to withstand your power for an extended period of time. Mr. Goku, how are you feeling? I feel much better. Thank you very much, Daisenkin-sama. Mr. Goku, thanks to you, all the universes are back to normal. That's how Goku realizes that all the universes had returned to normal. Even new gods had been chosen for each of the universes. I finally finished with all the beings that betrayed me. That's right, Master. Now we can spend time with our families without even to worry about anything. This is how Goku would return to planet Earth, starting to eat a banquet. However, Vegeta at that time would ask to fight against Goku. So both would go to a deserted place. Goku would access Ultra Instinct, while Vegeta would access the Ultra Ego Maximum Power, launched both rivals in a great battle. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. At that moment, we see how Vegeta was already gathered by the Z Warriors, Krillin, Android 18, Piccolo, Ten Shinjan, Chaos, Gohan, Future Trunks, and Master Roshi, who were talking about the strong and dark energy they had felt. Goku and Goten arrive home and his mother, worried because they had taken a long time to return, runs to Goten and says, Goten, son, are you alright? To which Goten replies, don't worry, mom, we're fine. Chi Chi raises her head to Goku and notices that he's very serious. She lowers her gaze a little and notices the strange artifact he had on his chest. Chi Chi asks him, Goku, what's that you have there? Are you alright? Goku immediately changes his expression with a fake smile reply. Oh, don't worry. It's nothing important. Chi Chi in a very insistent way. Goku, don't fool me. What happened? This thing I have on my chest. This very strange artifact I have on my chest. Well, it's a strange artifact, but I'm fine, really. I'm going to find out what it is and we'll get on with our lives. Chi Chi worried about Goku hugs him and says, Promise me you'll come back, Goku. To which Goku with a smile answers her yes. While he was about to make the teleportation, Goku says goodbye, saying to Goten, Take care of your mother. I'll be right back. He teleports. Moments before Goku arrived to meet the Z Warriors, as they were at Bulma's house, they were talking about what they had felt a moment ago. Vegeta, with a very serious expression, asks, Did anyone else feel that dark energy? I can't identify it, but it's disturbing. Piccolo Friday replies, Yes, I felt it. It's as if it disappeared immediately as soon as we felt it. Something's not right. Gohan, very worried, says, Dad, Goten are with my mother. We should look for them. At that moment, Goku appears in front of them through teleportation and says very seriously, Guys, I felt a strange presence. Something happened with Goten, but I rescued him. Piccolo, analyzing everything that happened, notices something strange on Goku's body and asks him, Goku, 
What's that artifact on your chest? That's what I want to find out. But before that, I need to tell you something. To everyone's expected and uncertain gaze, he says, the strange energy you felt came from this artifact in my chest. Vegeta frowns and asks, how is it possible? Does that device emit that energy? Goku, somewhat worried, nods and says, it seems so. The moment I rescued Goten, this artifact permeated my chest, and I began to feel an incredible amount of pressure coursing through every part of my body. Piccolo, thinking about everything Goku was telling them, asks, And how did it get in your chest? The artifact was underwater right next to Goten, who had fainted. As soon as I was approaching it, it emitted a very sharp sound that didn't allow me to get close to Goten. Despite that, I managed to get close, and out of nowhere, it jumped in front of my chest to stay there. After everything that had happened with Goten, I tried to take it off, but when I did it again, it came back to permeate my chest. We must find out what this artifact is and why it has such a great amount of power. I'm counting on you. Vegeta determined says, Let's do it. We won't let any threat catch us off guard. Future Trunks earnestly tells everyone, I agree. Together, we'll figure out what's going on. Goku thanks all his friends for the support they were giving him, but at that moment he changes his joyful expression to one of seriousness, as he remembered what had happened just before he lost consciousness. Gohan, noticing the sudden change in his father's expression, asks him, Dad, what's wrong? Is there anything else you must tell us? Vegeta adds, Insect, you're not hiding anything from us, are you? Goku remembered what had happened at that moment. With an expression of concern and anguish, he tells them about the fight he had with an unknown being which exceeds his strength by far. And he remembers that the entity mentioned that he had colleagues that he had hoped would be all right. Piccolo with fear, but Serene says to Goku, are you sure of what you're saying? For what you are telling us is very dangerous. If he surpasses your strength by far, in that case, we wouldn't stand a chance against him. We'd be a hindrance rather than a support, Goku. Goku, after hearing that, tells him what he felt in the confrontation. The moment the unknown being appeared, and I felt the same amount and type of power and the dark key that ran through my body as the strange artifact permeated my chest. As soon as Goku finished telling what had happened, as soon as he got out of the water, Piccolo came up with an idea. It wasn't that far-fetched, but he could explain what the strange artifact was and why he was facing the unknown being. Piccolo, observing the artifact, turns to Goku, saying, This looks familiar. It may be like a containment urn like the ones we used at the Mafuba to seal powerful beings. Surprise, Goku. Really, Piccolo? Do you think this could be something like that? Krillin wouldn't look at the artifact. An artifact like this one, used with the Mafuba on Goku's chest? Since when did battles become so complicated? There's always something new with you Saiyans. Master Roshi, somewhat excited, but at the same time, Sirius exclaimed, Ah, Mefuba! I remember when we sealed King Piccolo with that. Do you think Goku has such a strong enemy inside? Future Trunks, analyzing what had happened, says, It makes sense. The Mefuba urns are powerful devices to contain evil energies. Could this artifact have sealed something? I don't care if it's from the Mefuba or anywhere else. I just want to know how to get rid of this thing once and for all. It's a possibility. The urns we used to keep very strong enemies under control, but why did it attach yourself to Goku? I'm not sure, but what I do know is that this energy is linked to a very powerful entity. Whatever it is, if it's linked to that artifact, we cannot underestimate it. So what do you plan to do, Kakarot? At that moment, the Kaiosama of the North telepathically communicates with Goku to tell him that he had information about the powerful energy that they felt and the mysterious artifact that permeated his chest. Kaiosama tells him to get to his planet quickly. First, we need information. Kaiosama has information about this artifact and the being that might be inside it. We must go to Kaiosama so we can find out what we're dealing with. Vegeta nods and Goku continues. Exactly, but first, I need your help. If there are any more entities like this, the Earth could be in danger. And with this connection to the artifact, I could put them at risk. Therefore, I'll only go to Kaiosama to get the information to get rid of this artifact. Kakarot, don't even think that you'll do this alone. I'll go with you, insect. I can't accept that you become stronger than me. Goku accepts and asks him to put his hand on his shoulder. Once Goku and Vegeta left, the Z-Warriors sensed unknown presences on the planet. So they split into groups and flew off at high speed to go investigate. 
with the reevaluation that the artifact of Goku's chest might be like a containment urn, similar to those used in Mafuba, the Z Warriors faced an increasingly complex and dangerous situation. Uncertainty about what such an artifact contains and how it is connected to the mysterious dark energy fills them with worry. While Goku and Vegeta were to where Kiyosama and the Z Warriors went to investigate the unknown presences they had detected in space, Whis and Beerus, after having transversed much of space, felt a strong amount of dark energy, so they immediately head to where it was. As they are about to reach the source of the dark energy, the pressure in the air becomes more intense as they get closer, and the unknown entity awaits their arrival. Why do I feel like this is going to be more complicated than we thought? Mr. Beerus, the information we gain here could be crucial to understanding the threat we face on Earth. The unknown entity, surrounded by a dark aura, reveals itself in front of Whis and Beerus. Its presence is overwhelming and a sinister laugh echoes in space. Unknown entity mockingly welcomes them, saying, I expected your arrival. You took longer than I expected. Do not underestimate the gods. We're here to stop any threat that endangers our universe. Before any confrontation, can you tell us who you are and what you're doing here? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm known as Ryuk, disciple of the Devourer of Worlds. I have come to free the Master, the most powerful being who ever lived. The expression on Wiss's and Beerus' faces become much more serious upon hearing Raikou's name. Raikou, a name rings a bell. Raikou is an ancient threat, Lord Beerus. His master, he and the other disciples were sealed away a millennia ago due to his unquenchable thirst for power and destruction. So it looks like we have a problem. This time it won't be as easy sealing him again. The space fills with palpable tension as Ryuk, surrounded by a dark and malevolent aura, confronts Wiss and Beerus. The dark energy emanating from him seems to distort the very fabric of space around him. <laughs> problem, you say? You are correct, little god. The master has been patiently awaiting your release. And now, with my arrival, that time has finally come. Beerus moves into combat stance with a determined expression on his face, while Whis remains composed but alert. I have no time for games. If your master is a threat, we'll stop you here and now. Tell us more about your master. Understanding his motivations might help us find a peaceful solution. Ryu chuckles mischievously revealing his sharp fangs that disappears in a dark flash before reappearing behind Beerus with astonishing speed. There's nothing they can do to stop the Master's inevitable resurgence, but before that, they could entertain me. The battle begins, Ryuk throws a swift punch towards Beerus, but the Destroyer Guy nimbly dodges and responds with an energy punch that Ryuk blocks easily. Meanwhile, Whis watches carefully, waiting for the right moment to intervene. Ryuk's speed is impressive but Beerus manages to keep up. They exchange blows and energy blasts in a combat that seems to defy the laws of space itself. Ryuk's dark energy distorts reality around him, making its impact more dangerous and intense. Oh, Beerus, your speed is amazing, but that dark energy is problematic. I suggest you be careful with your movements. Beerus nods as he dodges an enemy attack and counterattacks with an energy wave. Ryuk, undeterred, vanishes and reappears in front of Whis, challenging him to enter the fight. And you, sister of the god, will you dare to face me? Whis smiles serenely and disappears in a flash, only to reappear behind Ryuk. I have no intention of fighting, but if that's what you wish. Before Whis finishes his sentence, Ryuk turns around and launches his fierce attack towards him. Whis, with his extraordinary speed, dodges each blow with grace. Space convulsed with the fury of the cosmic confrontation between Whis, Beerus, and Ryuk. Each move shattered reality itself. As Ryuk's dark energy and the god's divine blast intertwined in a demonstration of opposing forces, Ryuk, as ominous figure shrouded in dark aura, moved with breathtaking speed. The sinister left echoed through the emptiness of space, challenging the gods who faced him. This guy's faster than I thought. As Beerus' words fade away, Ryuka disappears in the blink of an eye and reappears in front of him with a punch charged with dark energy. Beerus manages to block the attack, but the force of impact sends shockwaves through space. Ryuk breaks away from Beerus with a smirk, and in a flash lunges towards Whis. His movements were fluid. Whis, on the other hand, moves gracefully, dodging each blow with the grace of a cosmic dancer. This dark power is intriguing, but it is out of balance. Ryuk, frustrated by Whis's evasive ability, concentrates his dark energy in his hands and launches it as a flare. 
Wiz responds by creating an energy barrier, but the resulting collision sends shockwaves through space, shaking nearby stars. Beerus takes advantage of Ryuk's distraction and lunges at him with a punch charged with divine energy. Ryuk blocks the blow, but the resulting force causes an explosion that creates the ephemeral supernova in the cosmos. The fight continues with unmatched speed. Ryuk demonstrates his skill and anticipating the god's moves, while Beerus and Wiss unleash their divine power to counter the darkness that threatens to engulf them. In a moment of pause, Ryuk grins mischievously and his dark aura begins to intensify. A transformation was underway. The darkness concentrates around his body, forming a sort of dark cocoon that breaks, revealing a transformed figure. Now Ryuk has evolved. His previous form pales in comparison to the manifestation of his current power. His figure has become more imposing, with twisted shadows dancing around him as if they were extensions of his own essence. Sharp fangs glow with dark radiance, and his eyes emit a malevolent light. Ha ha ha! This is just a glimpse of my true power. Beerus and Wiss exchange a worried glance. The pressure in the air becomes even more intense. Ryuk, now in his transformation form, launches himself towards the gods with outstanding speed. Beerus tries to counterattack with a sphere of divine energy, but Ryuk dodges each projectile with ease, moving through the bursts of light with supernatural agility. Meanwhile, Wiss stands in reverse, watching the fight with analytical eyes. In a quick blink, Ryuk appears in front of Beerus and unleashes a series of vicious blows. The sonic sounds of punches and echoes kicked through space as the gods and devour of worlds discipled plunge into a frenzy of combat. Beerus, struggling to keep up with Ryuk's speed, takes a direct punch to the stomach that sends him drifting into space. Before he can recover, however, Ryuk lunges at him and blasts him with a barrage of blows. The situation becomes even more complicated when Ryuk, in a ruthless act, concentrates dark energy in his hand and drives it through Beerus's abdomen. The Destroyer God lets out a roar of pain as darkness spreads from the point of impact. Wiss saying the stark reality springs into action, his figure flashes in space as he stands in front of Ryuk blocking his attacks. I cannot allow you to harm my lord in this way! Wiss's divine energy collides with Ryuk's darkness in a show of cosmic power. The battle intensifies and the fate of the universe hangs in the balance as the confrontation between light and darkness reaches its climax. Will Wiss be able to stand up to Ryuk? Who will be the winner of this incredible battle? Will good or evil win? Beerus, the most powerful god among the 12 gods, was defeated with such ease. Well guys, don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon, in which you will have news and exclusive contents about the manga, and even chapters in vinaigrettes about which you will first see everything that can happen in the next chapter. Hey insects, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications if you don't want to be eliminated by me, the Prince of the Saiyan. Lord Vegeta, you forgot to mention the subscription to your Patreon to have exclusive manga content in advance. Is that right, Lord Vegeta? You're right, Wiss. Don't forget to become a member of my Patreon to have much more exclusive content and news about the various manga that are becoming to the channel. Become a member or you'll be destroyed! Final Flash!